Hello and uh, welcome to the video tutorial on how to create a translated page on the One Community website. I am Jin uh, Jin Hua and I will be guiding you through this tutorial. What we're going to be covering in this tutorial is the basics of using WordPress and also how to edit and format pages specifically for One Community. Um, there will be resources uh, available if you want to learn more of the basics of WordPress. Um, it's actually very easily searched online. If you go on Google, and you can Google basic WordPress tutorials. You'll find a lot of resources there. Uh, and also, there's a lot of uh, great tutorials on YouTube. You just have to uh, search for basic WordPress tutorials, and you'll find uh, lots of them. So the first thing uh, you'll want to do is to first log in to your account in the One Community website. So you should already have the link for that, your username and your password. So go ahead and do that first. And then after you've done that, uh, you'll want to open up the link that has been given to you, which contains the page that you'll be editing. So for this example, we're going to be using the Hoop House Open Source Hub um, as a page that we're going to start uh, using for this tutorial. So the first thing I'll do is I'm going to give you a quick tour of what you what you actually see on this page so you know all the different aspects of it if this is your first time. And if you already know how to uh, edit blogs and, and everything, uh, you might want to just skip this part, uh, fast forward a little bit. Um, but I'm just going to go through each of these sections. So at the very top, you'll see the title. And underneath, that's obviously the URL. You can actually change the URL just by clicking on it. You can actually delete it. You now you can start typing anything to change the URL, which you'll need to do. Um, if you scroll down, um, this is the actual blog post, so or the page, right? The the text and the images and you know the videos and all of that. Now to make my viewing experience a little bit better. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to collapse the uh, the menu on the left so that way I have more space. So if you're on the bottom left here you see collapse menu. There's only if you want to use it. I'm going to click on this for this uh, tutorial so you can see um, everything a little bit better. So I'm going to collapse that. There you go. And if you want to bring that back you just click on this. Uh, looks like a an arrow here to bring it back in. So. Um, so anyways, back to uh, this section. So this here, in this little box, this is the uh, the text editor, right? This is where you put all your text and all your images. Um, see if so, if I'm scrolling down, this is actually what is on the page itself, okay? Um, and that's what we'll be editing. So on the top right here, you see publish, okay? And there's an arrow, you can actually minimize and expand that. Um, so the options you have here is you can save the draft, you can preview the page, and you can submit this page for review. So either Jay or another person um, can look over your work and you know once it's finalized we will publish it. Um, so that's where you submit and that's the last thing you'll do. Um, if you want to keep track of your revisions, um, like for instance, uh, if you want to undo some things that you've done or you really screwed up the page, you want to go back uh, to a previous change, all your revisions are actually saved here. So you see revisions for, you just click on browse. Um, and once you do, uh, I guess I can just click on it just to show you. Um, once you click on this, then you can actually go backwards, you know, on the different revisions that you've made and they'll tell you how long ago that was. and underneath you'll see the changes. Um, you probably won't need to use this but you know just in case you have the option to do that. So I'm just gonna go back to the post. Okay so um, more on the right side so on more on the right side you see page attributes you do not have to worry about this so I'm just gonna minimize that. Sidebars you don't have to worry about that either or featured images or the shareaholic. So you don't have to worry about anything. Um, all you need to know is the publish section here. And uh, let's see, next thing we do, we'll just continue to scroll down. Um, for the toolbar, I'm gonna come back to the toolbar in a little bit. But let me just scroll down first. 
keep scrolling, keep scrolling. Once you scroll down to the bottom, you'll see that there are more options here. You can see your, uh, your revisions again. You can click on these and they'll bring you back to the old revisions. You'll see a floating social media icon, like if it's expanded, you'll see this. Just minimize that, you don't have to um, do anything there. But what you will be using is the WordPress SEO by Yoast. So what SEO uh, means on, in terms of what you see here is what the titles will display when you share um, this post. So or share this page. So there's the general and then there's the social. I'm going to go over this uh, later as well. Okay, so I'm just going to minimize that for now. And then you see revisions there. And then page links to you don't have to do anything there. So uh, just to um, review, all you really need to know um, and what you'll be working with is the WordPress SEO by Yoast. Okay, and that's basically it. Okay, so I'm going to go all the way back up to the top. And um, I'm going to go over this toolbar here. This is your editing toolbar, right? Um, something very useful I find is if you hit full screen. That way you don't get distracted by anything else on the side. You can just look at you know what you're working with. And um, I probably recommend this uh, better for you so you don't get distracted by all the other uh, things around. And you can see all your text a lot clearer. So you can just click on full screen again to go back to the original view. They also have a distraction free writing mode, which is on the right side here. It looks just like the full screen one. But if you click on it, notice that everything else just kind of grays out, right? Grays out. And then that way you can focus on your um, what you're doing and not be distracted by everything else um, on the outside. So um, that's a really cool thing if you want to use that. Uh, down here you'll see paragraph heading you know these are the styles of your of your te text apparently uh, so like if you uh, if you notice here if you if we click on this first paragraph here it shows that this format is paragraph however if you scroll down you can click on different sections like this one that says heading six down here you'll see heading five and watch if I change this to headings heading 4 or something, notice that it changes, right? See this one was heading 5. Let's go down and check on this one. See this one says heading 1, right? So if I change that to paragraph, it changes the text, right? That's heading 1. So that's that's what that is. Um, let's go on a little bit more to see what else you will be might be using. This is, you know, text, changing text color if you ever need to, which I don't think you'll need to. Um, but just to understand that you can show and hide this toolbar by clicking on this icon here they call this the kitchen sink um, so, so you just click on this tool the toggle toolbar here and then you can hide and show um, this bottom part um, and you can access a lot of things that you can um, use here all the tools here so there are other um, there are some basic helpful tools and shortcuts such as copy and paste, how to undo and redo tasks. Uh, so what one thing I'll show you right now is how to um, how to copy and paste. Okay, and I'll show you the way I like to do it. Uh, that's easier for me, and I'll show you a couple of options. Um, then you can choose whichever way that you feel most comfortable with. So first thing I'm doing, I'm going to make this full screen so you can see a little bit better. So let's say I want to copy this paragraph, right? I just want to copy this. So I just highlight it. I'm going to click and drag until everything is highlighted. One option to copy is I can right click, copy. Okay. Or on the right side, you'll see actually keyboard shortcuts. So if I hold control and press C, instead of, you know, right clicking, I can still copy. So for this example, I'm just going to click on copy here. Now I'm going to indent or I'm, I'm going to press enter to create a new line and then I'm gonna paste so I'm, I can right click and paste or I can just press control V so I'm gonna paste there okay so that's how you copy and paste now let's say I just did something which I just did something I don't want to do which is uh, copying pasting this in the wrong place I can undo I can undo what I just did by right clicking well, 
it looks like I can't undo here. Let's see. Oh, but I could do Control Z. Hmm. Okay, hang on one second. All right, so usually if you can right if you right click, you can click on undo. But if that doesn't if that's grayed out like it is right now, you can just press Control Z, Control Z, and boom, it just undid what I did. Let's just say I undid something and I want to redo it. I can just right click and click on redo. And if that's not there, I can just hold Control Shift Z, Control Shift Z, and that will bring back what I undid. So, um, so that's how you copy and paste and undo, redo. Uh, it's very useful. I know for me, I use it a lot to save time. And also when I mess up and I don't know what I just did, it's like, oh crap, I just completely screwed something up. Um, I can just do undo, undo, undo. Um, if the undo does not work, let's say you mess up something previously, I made a big mistake and you want to go back to a previous revision, remember what you can do is, well first get out of full screen, you can click on revisions here and you can go back to a previous time. Um, and then you can restore a previous version of, you know, and then you just do it over again. Um, so that's really, really useful. Okay, uh, let's see what's next here. It's the outline, kitchen sink, helpful tools, refer to resources to learn more about basics of WordPress. So again, um, I just went through like very, very basic concepts um, on WordPress. Again, if you want to learn more about it and learn more of the basics, which, you know, if you're going to be doing this, uh, doing the editing, translating, and working with a blog, um, I would just recommend mine as well learn it. Um, it might be a very good skill that you can use in the future for anything else that you do. That's a very, very valuable skill um, in today, today's age. So um, the next section that we're going to go through is actually begin editing and translating the page. So let's go back to the page here. All right, so what you'll need to translate, I'll just overview this really quick. You'll need to translate the title. You'll need to translate the URL. So you can just type something. Um, I actually have a website here that is just uh, random text. So I'm just gonna use that as random text. <laughs> uh, so do, let's just pretend these text is the translation. Um, just for the you know the for sake of this uh, example, this is what I'll be using. So I'm just gonna copy that here. Um, so let's say okay, I'm just gonna use this line here. So I'm going to translate this, and usually the URL is the title. Okay, so the title of the page is usually the URL of the page. Um, so I'm just going to paste that there and press OK. All right, and then now we get down to our first uh, paragraph here. So notice that there are links. I'm going to show you exactly what, um, how to, uh, how to work this through. So I'm going to click on full screen. Um, so there's a lot of different ways you can go about. Uh, translating this you can translate in another notepad you can copy it over um, or you can just start translating on this page uh, which I think it might be a good way of going about it so let's say I'm working on this paragraph I can just you know press put the cursor in the front press enter create a new line I can start translating so again I'm just gonna use let's just say I translated that text so I I'm gonna paste that here so let's say this is my translated text of the first paragraph right so how do we carry over these hyperlinks yeah, so all of these are hyperlinks if you open up the page you click on them they actually go to specific pages well here's how we do it so let's say this text here is for four phase strategy okay let's say that's what that is well what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this text with the hyperlink so I'm actually copying the entire link here copy so I just said control C or right click copy I go into where I want that to be so I want that to replace this right so I'm just gonna paste it in the front right here paste it so as you can see it shows up there and now 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, copy the translated text here and then I'm going to select everything between the first letter and the last letter of the link I'm going to delete it okay and then I am going to paste the translated text in between the first and last letter then I'm going to delete the last letter I'm going to delete the first letter and I'm going to explain why I did that okay and I'm going to, I'm going to do several examples of that so that way you can kind of see okay so now once I have this um, the translated text as a hyperlink I can delete the other text so now we have um, the new translated text so now this translated text has properties notice that when I hover over it there is actually a, um, a text box that comes up right that is the title text that's also known as the alt text or alternate text so to show the properties of this link notice that on the toolbar okay um, oh, I'm just gonna unhide everything notice that there is a there's two icons here that represent hyperlinks one is one if you hover over it says insert edit link the other says remove link so right now we want to edit the link so we'll click here and notice that you'll see this is the URL that the um, that the viewer will be uh, redirected to if they click on the link and this is the title that when you hover over the text or hover over the link this is the text that actually pops up okay so uh, let's see here so that this is how you um, this is how you go into the properties of a link so what you'll have to do is you'll have to translate the title as well okay so not only do you translate the hyperlinks text you also have to translate um, the title here and the title if it's too long because there's a lot of links here you can actually shorten it if you like to you can uh, simplify it in in your translation okay and then after you're done you just click on update okay um, so let's see here now the reason why we copy um, well, why we select the first um, we'll select in between the first and last letter of the hyperlink text is so that we can preserve all of the link properties which you know which we just saw here all of these link properties that way we preserve all of that we don't have to manually type each and every one of these in um, so it's really important that you do it this way otherwise if you delete the whole thing um, you won't maintain uh, the link integrity the link properties so I'm just gonna do another example so let's say I want to um, bring copy this hyperlink over let's say it's here and um, let's say this is the translated text then I'll copy the translated text select inside the hyperlink you are between the first and last letter delete okay just hit the backspace and then I'm going to right click or let's see here it seems like if I try to put the cursor in the middle of the two letters and right click it actually selects it so for here the best way to go about this is to um, paste so you can there's another way you can paste is go to edit and hit paste or control V on a PC or command V on the Mac so just paste your browser does not support direct access to clipboard okay so if that shows up then just hit you know control V or uh, command V to paste and once you do delete the first and last letter and then we just delete the translated text without the hyperlink and there you go and to double check if you like you can just click inside of it click on the hyperlink icon edit icon and then um, you can translate the title now another thing to note is that in, in this you shouldn't really have to worry about but if you ever run into it to this and you might want to know this 
is that if you are linking to an internal link, meaning if the link is from one community global, then this checkbox, you leave it unchecked. We do not want to open in a new tab. However, if this link is an external link to a to a page outside of one community, then you'll want to open in, in a new tab, okay? So again, if you're editing a page, you probably won't have to worry about this, but in case you are doing something that requires you know, this knowledge, then uh, be sure that external links, you open a new tab, you check this box, internal links, you keep this unchecked. Again, if you're translating, make sure you translate the title um, inside here of each one of these links as well. Okay, so uh, let's look at the next thing. All right. So let's say you are completed with um, translating the first paragraph here. Then what you do is, you know, of course you just delete the English text and you're just keeping the um, the translated portion. And then you just work your way down. Uh, this is part of the way that I would recommend. And every time you know you're done for the day. Um, and you want to save it, just save draft and you can always come back to it later and I'll show you how to do that in a little bit. So let me go back to full screen. Okay, so the next section here, so the next section um, here, it doesn't say anchors, uh, but these are actually anchors and I'll show you how to find these out, okay, how to know if they're anchors or not. Um, on most of our pages, we actually have a table of content. So this is says, you know, this open source hub includes the following section, right? Related pages. What is Hoop House? Why build Hoop House? All of these are the different sections of this page. And if you click on it, it just brings you down to that page. See, if you hover over it, it says click here to jump straight to, you know, this particular section. Click here to jump straight to. Click here to jump straight to, right? So that, that means, you know, when you click on it, it will just bring you straight to that section on the same page meaning it doesn't take you outside of this page okay so something uh, this is actually a very important area uh, and I want to make sure that we go through it and you know exactly what to do so first thing we'll do is click on the first link right just click inside of it click on edit link once you do notice in the URL okay like if I go back to the front I'm just clicking dragging to get to the end okay Notice at the very end, you see related pages, okay? That is actually the anchor code, okay? The, the hashtag here, this number sign, the hashtag, that is like a code for WordPress to know that this is an anchor, okay? And bef everything before it is the link, okay? See, this goes back to the original link of the original page, you know, original Hoop House page. Now, we don't want that. We don't want this to go to the hoop house page and go to the related pages because that is the English page, right? That's a non-translated page. So for you, just click, you know, select everything before the hashtag and just delete it. So all you have for the URL is hashtag related pages. Of course, related pages is just for this link. I'm going, and then of course you want to translate the title, okay, into uh, the translation and then you just want to click on update let's go down to the second one just give you another example so second one click on edit you know notice on the URL here see it says hashtag overview right so I'm gonna select everything before that delete I'm gonna translate the title okay actually let me just pick something random uh, as a translation just so that we see okay see and I'm just gonna do like a I'm going to translate, you know, that title, for that link there, press update. So when I hover over it, it shows the translated text, as you see there. Okay, so why build hoop houses? I'm going to go down to the third one, do the same thing. Okay, again, I'm going to click, you know, select everything before this hashtag. And then I'm going to translate the title All right, to something else. I'm translate that. You know, I'm gonna hit update and then you so on. Then you do it for each one, okay? And what happens is, and I'm gonna show you, okay, what happens if I get out of full screen and then I click on preview, okay? Let's preview the page and see what we just, the changes we just did. And this is also how you can test your anchors to see if they're actually working, okay? And I'll show you 
you know how to know if you're doing it right or wrong okay so the first one here says related pages see what happens when I click on it boom it brings me to related pages uh, apologies for this uh, the uh, icons here I have the window kind of uh, small just for this tutorial and that's why the icons are actually overlapping um, but when I have this opened up you won't even be able to see actually let me do that really quick so I'm just gonna move this so that way you can see it okay so notice that it brought me to related pages and then see I let me scroll back up and I'm gonna click on what is a hoop house boom right it brings me straight down to what is a hoop house right and I'm gonna scroll back up and notice if I hover over it you see notice the title we already um, we already did the translation for the title that's where it actually shows up okay so why build a hoop house I'm click on that it brings me right down to why build a hoop house let's go back up and I, I guess I think you get the point now here's an example of what you don't want to happen so notice the fourth one I did not change it right so I'm going to open in a new tab actually just for uh, example I'm open a new tab no actually that wouldn't make sense so uh, for this example so let's say you click on the fourth one here the fourth one um, that does not have uh, the anchor done properly notice I just clicked on it notice it brought me to another page and how do I know that well if you look at the URL it brought me to hoop houses which is which is the non translated page right this is a non translated page this is the this is the wrong page that I'm on even though it has the anchor text so that's how you know when you're you know when you're not in the right place um, I'm gonna hit the back arrow in the browser to go back to my preview um, and so that's that that's how you work with anchors and usually here let me go back to um, to our the edited the translated page here go back to full screen now usually for every page we have the table of contents and all the anchor links are usually on top so when you click on it it will bring it down okay and also um, as you go down to different pages you'll see a little icon uh, which right here uh, it's kind of small um, but notice to the right of where I selected you see a little anchor icon make sure you do not delete that so for instance if you want to edit this line here make sure you when you edit it you leave that you leave one character so I'm just gonna leave that that little bracket there and I'm gonna select everything to the left of the last character of that line I'm gonna delete it okay and I'm gonna translate it so let me just pick a random line okay here you know, paste. so I paste my translation and then I delete the the last character and then I, so that way I preserve that anchor icon there because all of these icons you know that that is that was our related icon right so when you click on related pages it brings you down here well how does it know to go down here well that's where these anchors are um, and that's how you can uh, add you know anchor so let's say you oh, well actually before that um, so that so this is how you want to do it you select everything um, to the left of the last character you paste it in then you delete the last character so let me undo what I just did control Z or command Z you know undo 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 all right now let me do another example let's say you select the whole line though oops hang on a second. let's say you select the whole line and you delete it and then you paste notice that the anchor is right underneath now that could work like it's not gonna make or break anything but I would we would prefer you to you know to maintain the formatting which is let me undo see I just undid I just did my mistake there I'm gonna select everything to the left of the last character paste then I delete the last character notice that the anchor is to the right of it okay so that's really important now let's say I I'm gonna undo 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 again let's say I accidentally deleted that anchor there and I need to create a new anchor so I'm just gonna delete that uh, okay if it lets me 
Okay, let's just say I just deleted the anchor. It's like, oh crap, I just lost the anchor and then you didn't, you know, let's say undo, the undo button wasn't an option at that point. How can you fix this? How, you know, let's say you remember what the text was, right? So you have the translated text, which is here, and you wanted to add an anchor for related pages. Well, the way that you would do this is that, first of all, you need to know what the anchor is, right? So you click on related pages, click on edit link, you find the, you know, anchor here. Remember that? You're going to copy that. Copy. Then you're going to go down to where you want the anchor to be. Up here, you're going to click on insert. Okay, insert on the top of the toolbar. Anchor. And then you paste the anchor, which is hashtag related pages in this case. Press OK. And notice that the anchor is back. And if you actually um, go preview the post, um, you'll see that it works okay so those are all the different ways that um, you can work with anchor so just to go over this again let me un just undo everything I just did okay so again um, to translate text next to anchor to select everything to left of the last character delete it oops paste in your hang on a second paste in uh, your translated text or just type over it. So let's say you just type over it Then you can just delete the last character and boom you can move on. Okay So the next thing you'll want to know um, Is how to edit the images so for the images what you need to do is edit the titles, right? So when you hover over each of these images um, We want to translate the the attributes that uh, you know the text that actually pops up so to do that, all you have to do is click on an image, click on the edit button, and it will pull up the image details window. What you want to do is go down until you see advanced options, which is down here, and you want to make sure it's expanded. And when you scroll down, you'll see image title attribute. And this is the text that you want to translate. And once you translate it, then you just click on update and then you can move on to uh, the next image and do the same thing. So next image, click on the edit button, right click on it, click on the pencil icon here, edit. Make sure the advanced options is expanded and then under image title attribute, you're going to translate this text, hit update. And then you just do that for each one of the images that you see on the page. And this is really important because um, when people land on this page in a foreign language, um, we want them to know uh, what each of these icons represent and what page that they're going to be redirected to. And once they land on that page, then they can just use the standard uh, Google Translate to translate, you know, uh, automatically translate those pages. Uh, we'll go down. Um, whenever you see a link, though, make sure you do translate each one of these links. So again, remember. You have, um, uh, if you want to change out the links, select everything in between the first and last letter. You're going to delete that, and then you're going to, you know, add whatever text you need uh, that you want in the middle of that. And then you're going to delete the first and the last letter, and you do that for each one. Okay, and that way you maintain the link integrity. Uh, let's see, I'm just going to scroll down to see any other examples. See here again. Notice that there are two anchors here, right? You wanna when you translate these, make sure you um, if if there's an anchor to the right, you select everything to the left of the last letter of the line, and then you make your uh, translation. So I'm just gonna copy. So let's say that, right? So that's the translation, and I'm gonna delete that last letter. Okay, and that way. The anchor, uh, the anchors are there. And let's say I just do something like I screw up or something. You know, how do I? Let's say I made it made a mistake, right? Let me undo. Let's say I made a mistake and I did the whole thing. So, oh no, you know, what do I do, right? How do I get the anchor back? Just undo. So right click undo or Control Z on the PC or Command Z on the Mac. And then you can just undo, undo until you get back to the original. And then you can start over from there. 
Um, let me see here. Okay, so here is a different one. Here, now we have an image and text at the same time. So how do we do this? Well, let's see. Go at the very front, press enter. Um, so I can bring it down to a new line. I'm gonna do my translation. So let's say this is my translated text, right? Let's say this is my translated text. And then there is a link at the bottom. I'm gonna select the entire link there. I'm going to paste it where I want it. So let's say I wanted it, you know, here, which is towards the end. And let's say this is the translated text for the hyperlink text. I'm going to copy that. Uh, you know, copy. And then I'm going to select everything in between the first and last letter of the hyperlink. I'm going to delete. And then I'm going to paste Control V or a Command V on the Mac. And then I'm gonna delete the last first and last letter. And then I'm gonna delete the translated text without the link. And there you go, there you have it. So that's how you um, take care of uh, translating text when there's an image, you know, that's like floating to the left. It's just the same process uh, how you would do it normally. Again, once you're finished translating that paragraph, you just delete, you know, delete. The, uh, the English version you can don't you know you can leave the uh, videos there leave all the media components where they are you know the videos and images you don't have to touch that or anything you know uh, so and this is basically the same thing over and over and over um, oh here here are some bullet points so how would you take care of bullet points I think this one's pretty simple uh, let me just get a sentence from here Okay, so if I want to change that bullet point, just delete the text or write over it and just paste. Or, or just, you know, type type in your translated text. Uh, let me undo. Like, what, what, what you can really do is, you know, type before it if you want to, right? So I just typed, you know, I just pasted translation before it. And then I'll delete, you know, the English version. And um, notice here we have a bullet point and an anchor to the right. Well, how do you take care of that? You select everything to the left of the last character of that line, delete, and then you know, well, then you type in your translation, and then you delete that last character, and that way the anchor um, stays on the right. And again, um, and notice I'm just repeating a lot of the same things that I'm already saying. I just want to show you over and over, so that way, in case you need to, you know, understand this, uh, you can just see it being done in all different situations. So, and again, let's say you made an accident, right? Let's say you selected, you know, the entire line and then you deleted that and then you type in your thing and notice that, you know, the anchor is on the bottom. Well, what you could do, you know, is that you can just copy what you just translated. You can undo and then you can just paste. You know, do it the correct way, and then paste, and then delete that last character. So there's a lot of ways you can go about it, whichever way is easiest for you. Again, let's just go down and see if there's another, you know, um, unique situation. So, so these are all the same, right? These are the images. Images on the left. So remember what we do here. We just go in the front of the paragraph, press enter. We do our translated text, right? So you know, we translate that paragraph. And then you know we we do our our links just as I've shown you in the past. And then once you're done, then you delete the English part, and then you just continue and you continue. Um, let's see here for the material. I don't think you'll need to translate these tables. Um, just to be on the safe side, um, you can go ahead and ask Jay if he wants these to be. And translated to. I guess if you could translate, translate it, but I am actually not too sure. Uh, There's something you probably want to ask, uh, ask Jay, or once we have the answer, we'll put an annotation on this video 
on some text on this video on over overlaying it to let you know what um, the final decision is okay but this is the same scrolling down some more okay everything here seems to be um, fairly simple I don't see any other unique situations now some of these pictures uh, do have captions now you that's where you do not have to translate okay so you do not translate captions that are underneath the picture and see there how there's a border around this image right and there's a caption don't edit that because if you do edit that that will change um, the caption for this image that's displayed in all areas on our website and we don't want that to happen so reminder do not translate the captions um, under images okay scroll down some more And I think that is it. All right. Well, that is it. So that is how you, um, you know, translate. Well, so once once you translate this page, uh, what you want to do is you want to preview your page and you want to test to make sure everything is working. So I'm just gonna go through the motions right now, show you the examples. So once I go to the new page, I oh, okay, cool everything is good the formatting looks right you know the hyperlinks are showing up right and though you know if I hover over the links you know um, I should see the translated text right and then okay here are the anchors here's the table of contents up here let me click on one okay cool it works it brought me down to the section you know just click on them okay cool they work you know let me just go through them and check right let me just go through them and check so once you can see everything looks good everything is working um, then you're pretty much set okay you can just go back to your page here you can actually click on save draft once you save draft you should see your revisions here on the right you know it should go up that way you can go back you know uh, it just saves all of your revisions and throughout so if you want to go back in time you can notice on the top it confirms page draft updated if you will click preview page if you want to um, and uh, so once you have this set up then the last thing that you're gonna have to do is you want to scroll all the way down until you find WordPress SEO by Yoast so we're going to expand that if it's not already so you can see here make sure you edit you know you translate the SEO title so I'm just going to choose a uh, example here for uh, make sure you edit the SEO title and you also edit the meta description okay those are the only two that you have to do on this tab and when you go to social notice that there's also title and description so under title and description all you have to do is just copy the title from the general tab right so these are only two tabs you work with general and social so you're going to copy the title that you just translated you're going to paste in there in the facebook title go back get the meta description you're going to copy that Go to social and then you're going to select the Facebook description oh and by the way um, another way to select all in this box is you can just right click select all or control a on the PC command a on the Mac and you can select everything just delete you can paste in your translation and once you do that then you are set so you can save draft again or you can do all this first then save draft um, I know I saved draft earlier it's probably a good idea to save draft um, consistently as you work so that way you have all your uh, your work saved in case anything happens although if anything does happen like let's say your computer shuts down or you know something prematurely um, and you haven't saved draft there might be a chance that under revisions it could be automatically saved so um, but don't count on that you know just get in the habit of saving draft anyways uh, but just in case if something does happen your computer power goes out or 
you know, and your computer just shuts down, lose battery, whatever the reason is, you just come back to revisions and um, hopefully uh, you'll see, you know, one of your latest revisions there. Okay, so uh, let me just review my notes here to see if I'm missing anything. Let's see. Okay, so to overview, translate title, URL, translate the content, talk about hyperlinks, talk about anchors, talk about alt text, we talked about the SEO portion, which we just did. External links open up in, whoops, open, uh, external links open up in new tabs, internal links do not. Anchor text do not include full URL, which we already showed, just showing the hashtag, right? Remember that in the anchor? Double check your links and anchors. You know, you can hover over the links to see, you know, if the right, you know, text pops up. Uh, if it's translated um, and then once you're done you, know, you can update your changes by saving draft oh right also how to access your edited pages so let's say you're working on this and you're not done you couldn't finish everything in one day or one sitting and you want to save it and come back to it later how do you do that okay well um, the way that you do that let me expand um, this left side here remember it's on the bottom here the arrow button with the circle Let's say you just logged on, okay? Let's say you just logged back on and you saved draft, you logged out, and now you're logging back in so that you can work on uh, the work that you've been working on. On the left, you go to pages or posts, depending on which one that you were given, but most likely, I'm assuming it's gonna be pages and most, most of the time. If you don't see it here, you can try out posts, but you can go to pages first, click on all pages, And then you'll see a list of the um, the pages that you are working with. So notice this is the page we're working with, and it's labeled as draft. And if you want to come back and you want to edit this again, you just click on edit, and it'll bring you back to this page. Okay. Again, I want to start editing again. I want to go full screen to remove distractions. Right get out a full screen I can bold text italicize text like if I can if I want to bold this uh, you, you probably won't need to do this right if you're just translating but let's say you need to for some reason you know you just highlight the text hit bold you know and then it hasn't have an outline if you want to italicize and bold just click on italicize undo that just click again click again and then you get back to normal so that is basically it once you're done and you feel pretty confident just click on submit for review and then also notify jay upon your completion so once you're done um click submit and uh, send jay an email say hey i'm done with this page send him the link right to the page which you can just um you can click on you can go to view pages right here view pages view page you're gonna right click copy link address okay I'm, I'm using Chrome so it says copy link address if you're on Firefox or Internet Explorer it might show something else but it'll be something very similar as copy the link address that's really important and then um, then you when you open up an email or something um, you know you can paste that link to him so let's say this notepad here is like my email I just paste the link and this is what he'll see okay this is what he'll see and then um, he'll be able to access that page. So that's it. If you have any questions, um, you know, just let us know. Um, again, if you need any resources, if you want to learn more about WordPress, just go on YouTube or Google and just Google WordPress uh, basic WordPress tutorial for beginners or something like that. Um, and then you'll find a lot there just to get you know uh, get your feet wet on how to use WordPress and things like that. So. With that, this is Jin Hua. I'm signing out. Hope you guys got a lot of uh, valuable information and that it all makes sense. Thank you and goodbye.